Hey YouTubers, it's Reefer B and Reefer T here. Hello YouTubers. Today we're starting a video series on how to set up a saltwater fish tank. I'm going over everything from beginning to end, plumbing, uh, equipment use, lighting, all that good stuff. Um, today's video is going to be about... Uh, all the stuff needed to set up a saltwater fish tank. Good job. Um, you know, obviously everybody has their own opinions uh, in this hobby. Um, I've been out of the hobby for a while, but I've had tanks uh, in the past. Um, and this guy's been bugging me to uh, start another one, so uh, we got some things to go over today. And uh, you know, leave your comments below and uh, let us know what you think. All right, guys. So here's what we're working with. We got a 150-gallon uh, uh, Marine Land. All right, single overflow, single corner overflow. All right, this tank is uh, pretty big. Uh, it's four foot wide, uh, two foot deep, and 30 inches tall. So it's uh, the biggest uh, reef tank I've ever had. All right, we got the custom-made. Uh, hood and uh, custom made stand this thing here uh, obviously swings up there uh, mount the uh, LEDs we got uh, to go in there and uh, for the bottom do you want to open that up uh, nice and wide open no center bar all right uh, we did add some bracing back there as you can see some one by fours um, and also in the front here you can see a one by four also I don't know it didn't seem right that uh, for the support of this tank um, just that one little piece of three-quarter plywood in the middle and on the sides there uh, one thing we did complete already is the uh, the lighting under the sump lighting which uh, just to light up the whole sump and we got the LED bar right there that's not the refugium light that's just to uh, light the sump all right and we did put a layer of uh, polyurethane in here uh, just to protect it a little bit. The hood as well. Uh, just to make it a little shiny and nice. It's coming out good. Alright, so here's some of the equipment we're going to be running on this tank. Been uh, gathering equipment here for uh, about a month now. Uh, ordered a lot of stuff online. Um, we got the uh, JBJ Auto Top Off. All right, the pump with that, hose. JBO uh, controller, wave controller, and the uh, WP25 uh, power heads. A lot of good reviews on these, so I figured I would uh, give them a shot, see how they work out. And then we have a couple reactors there. Um, this Kent Marine one is, uh, is getting returned. It is uh, not very well made. I know there's a couple uh, other videos on that particular reactor thought the price was good obviously the uh, design is I think horrible they expect you to pull that uh, tube all the way out with the suction on that o-ring right there feels like you're gonna break the thing every time so that will be getting returned and I have since ordered the uh, next reef MR1 right here obviously we'll be doing full reviews when these things are set up but uh, a lot of good reviews on this one. I mean, they're even sending you the uh, Teflon tape and the uh, hose clamps there. All right, so that thing uh, obviously looks, you know, much heftier than that uh, Kent Marine. Test kit, uh, hydrometer, some buckets there, and then I got these uh, hydro totes from Seachem. We're going to see how they work out. They don't seem like they're very, you know, well made, but they're supposed to, uh, you know, they compress down when you're not using them, so they take up less space. As far as skimmers, I am doubled up on skimmers. I'm doubled up on some equipment. The uh, tank, somebody was selling that whole setup, brand new, with uh, some equipment. But obviously, uh, I went ahead and got some some of my own. So this uh, Bubble Mag 7 will be extra at this point. At some point, we'll be doing a uh, fish-only tank that'll probably be on that one. What I'll be using on the reef tank is this Reef Octopus 160 INT Space Saver. And I've got the pump underneath there. It's a little less uh, of a footprint, but uh, this thing is a beast. So I can't wait to get this up and running. All right. Um, as far as plumbing, I did order some red PVC. Make it look uh, you know, a little more fancy, I guess. Um, HomeDepot.com has the cheapest price on that if you want to look into those colors. All right, not cheap, but uh, cheaper. It's definitely not cheap. They're five foot sticks, so and I think I I got I got plenty there. As far as fittings, I'm going with white fittings. 
All right. Uh, everything we need there. CPEX ball valves. A little bit extra money. Go ahead and show show them that. You know, turn a lot easier. It's supposed to last a lot longer. Again, much more, much better than the uh, ones you'll find at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. And then uh, plenty of unions. Unions are your friend when you're working with PVC. You want to fit those in anywhere you can. I'm sorry, sorry, T. CPEX, and then we got the uh, Spears check valves. All right, two of those. All right, we don't need to take it apart, okay. but uh, <laughs> got two of them, so we can switch it out and keep the one clean. All right, and then uh, I'll be manually dosing to start off. Eventually, get some focus there. But I decided to go with the C Chem. All right, Refusion one and two there. And then we got the Reef Plus for uh, trace elements. A little bit of coral dip, some coral food. Uh, we'll need that for a while, but uh, you know, just getting prepped and ready to go here. All right, so as far as uh, sumps and pumps and lighting go, uh, again, somewhat doubled up. We got two sumps sitting here, but I'll be running on the, uh, the Reef Tank is going to be the uh, Ruby, uh, Trigger Systems Ruby 36S, all right, um, with the refugi Refugium, all right, we got the, the drop there where the skimmer will sit, flows into the Refugium, and then the uh, baffles and the return, um, we got the uh, wave point, all right, LED light for the uh, Refugium, Again, that's uh, 12 watts, 16 watts, 16 LEDs, 16 watts of power. Um, a lot of good ratings for uh, refugium use. So we'll be figuring out how that's going to clamp on here with that, uh, with this deal here. Clamps are going to be a little weird, but uh, we'll figure it out. I'm going to give this uh, Walt Smith uh, Fiji mud. Give this a shot, see how that works out. You know, there's a lot of different... Uh, Different brands of this stuff. It's supposed to be right from the uh, fresh waters of Fiji. Got some Fiji water. They probably pulled it off uh, the coast of Florida here. Who knows? But we'll see how that uh, that works out when it gets in there. All right. The other sump I have here is a uh, tsunami. Obviously a trickle filter. Again, not using that on the the reef aquarium. Probably going to be on the fish only eventually at some point. All right. As far as pumps, again this. Uh, Mag 7 came with the uh, tank setup. That's going to be extra. All right, we're going to be throwing the uh, Mag 12. All right, probably going to have to dial that thing down a little bit. I think that overflow in that uh, tank is only rated for like 800 gallons an hour. This is obviously 12, so the uh, ball valves will be uh, used for that. Mag drive pumps always had a lot of success with those. If you're going to run, you know, in the sump pump rather than external. Uh, these things are awesome, never had a problem with them, and they, they run like a champ. So uh, mag drive is uh, definitely the good deal, all right? And then uh, we got the lighting here, and uh, T is going to tell us about that. What do we got? Yeah, so uh, these are the Hydra by uh, Aqua Illumination. Uh, they have a total of 20 LEDs, uh, four white two deep red, two green, four royal blue, four deep blue, two violet, two UV. At 100% power, they used 95% uh, uh, watts, 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 yeah, watts cool. of electricity. Uh, we also have uh, the director that will control them wirelessly. All right. Good job, buddy. <laughs> um, all right, these hydras. Uh, Good lights on uh, Aqua Illumination came out with the the 52s and the 26s. You know they got a couple new ones out. These are the first hydras though, and uh, I was impressed when I went into uh, my local fish store and he had these over his tank. Uh, back when I was running tanks, the uh, LEDs were kind of in their infancy, and I was running you know halides and uh, VHOs. But uh, these things are awesome, and their controllability is. Uh, the way to go so we're going to throw those on there we'll uh you know have videos on the install and all that good stuff but uh that's it this uh you know more videos to come on uh full setup and uh, reviews of all these uh these products but uh we'll see you guys later bye